What's going on, guys? Welcome back to some more of the Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Uh, in the last part, I've been meaning to soar, but uh, I don't have a safe spot to play the Ocarina. But uh, we're going to do one last thing before we reset time. First of all, we're going to reset. We're going to... Um, this is going to be a stupid quickie video. Like, um, maybe I should have put this as part of the last part. Maybe not. But, like, uh, this will be a quickie video to give me up more content. But uh, we're going to sort of clock down. And we're going to uh, deposit all our rupees. Pretty much do every... This is kind of the last thing we can do. But, um... What, once we can get a certain amount in the bank, let's just say... If we can get a certain amount in the bank, let's just say, uh... We get a piece of heart, is what I mean by this. You can do this earlier. I meant to do this, I want to do this towards the end of the game. When we have Chateau Romani and the Light Arrows. Because this is the ways to do it. Like, um, you can basically, uh... We can deposit all 500 of our rupees. We already have 1,200 rupees, but, uh... We get a blue rupee for gaining 1,000 rupees, but, uh... Let's see, uh... I'm gonna kind of, I'm gonna kind of go back to Milk Road and uh, kill the bird over and over again. When it gets to night, it's also gonna be easier. It's gonna take a while, but let's just say we're rupee farming. And I, I was originally gonna speed up the footage, but let's say let's commentate throughout the whole thing because uh, this is essentially a how-to episode. This is like how to, because once we get five thousand rupees in the bank, we get a piece of heart. Let's see if I, well, first of all, let's see if we can get more arrows, like that. That's how you do it. Once we get to night, we should be easier because we can kill like bubbles and over and over again, get like rupees that way. And the, the alternate version during the day is, uh, kill this bird right here. If he can actually come toward us. I don't think he takes that many hits with the light arrows. He takes, uh... He takes... I think he takes four hits with the light arrows. And it might be five. One of the ways you can farm rupees. It's, uh, that's not really good enough. I'm gonna do some. I'm gonna do an alternate method. It's risky. It's high risk, but it's high reward. If we can get this fully, we're gonna skip to the night of the. We're gonna skip to the night of the final day. Where we can kill bubbles with the light arrows because those are better ways of getting rupees. Night of the final day, 12 hours remain. So, uh... We just have to, uh... Actually, are there bubbles? I might have screwed this up. Okay, there are bubbles. Sometimes I just resort to overthinking things, but, uh... Now that we have Chateau in mind, this should be easier. I believe this is a much quicker process than taking out the bird. Because we, we just get 50 rupees for every bubble we kill. We can just grind and grind and grind and grind. We can just go to, uh... What the hell am I trying to say? I'll just use the bunny there also so I can move faster. But, like, uh... The more of these bubbles we kill, let's just say, the more rupees we get. And the more rupees we get with the... Let's, um... This might have to be something I have to do in a separate set of three days. Now we got 500 rupees, we'll soar back to Clock Town, and now, um... Now I think I'll speed up the footage of killing bubbles, but I'm just demonstrating the ways you can farm rupees. And I just think these are the best ways. So I'll see you guys, I'll see you guys in a second once I speed up the footage.
piece. So it's actually almost the uh it's actually almost the uh, countdown. So uh we're going to uh I'm gonna deposit five hundred rupees and uh we're, it'll get us up to four thousand seven hundred. So one more set of five rupees will uh will be uh what am I trying to say? It will be enough to get the heart piece. So like I was just killing those bubbles over and over again. It took several in-game hours. Like um, we could go and beat the game, except with this is a hundred percent run. We don't have all the mass, so uh, we there still has to be stuff we have to get. So uh, we're gonna beat. We're almost done with the game, but not quite yet. Is what I'm saying. Cause like what. We're almost done with this three-day cycle, because, like, we still have yet to get the... Because, like, um, there's one massive side quest that we have to do, uh, that we do after we get the remaining masks, that were the ones we haven't gotten over the course of the game. There's still some heart pieces we have left to get, and, uh, yeah, it's actually the, uh, countdown. Don't worry, we have enough time. When we get 5,000 rupees in the bank, I'm immediately going to reset time. I'm confident we have just enough time to do this if we think about it. If we took even longer in the last area, we wouldn't have been able to do this. Literally everything could have possibly gone perfect with this recording session. Like, I haven't been on a hot streak with Majora's Mask recording sessions. This one went fucking great. I did everything I intended to. Besides get the All Night Mask. I love the music that plays during the countdown. Alright, that's... And finally, um... That's, that's the last of it. We just have to go back and deposit the rupees and then we'll reset time. We're almost getting to the end of this playthrough, which this playthrough did take several months to complete. So, uh, I knew this one was going to be a long one, but it is, it wasn't, I didn't expect it to be this long. Now, once we get the five, once we get the 500 rupees back in the bank. She's even saying we haven't executed yet. No, evacuated yet, not executed. So the whole world's about to get executed. And we now got 5,000 rupees, and this is a, a piece of heart. So uh, now we're going to reset time. See you guys later.